As part of our third year group design project, we created a kit to convert any surface into a touch interactive system. The surface is sprayed with a conductive carbon spray coating, giving it a resistivity in the order of around 1 kilo ohm per square. In our case, we use Teledeltos paper, which is a conductive sheet of paper with a resistivity of around 6 kilo ohms per square. This can be visualized by approximating the surface as an infinite resistor grid with the same resistivity. Following this, electrodes are placed on the perimeter of the paper, which can be used to apply or measure the voltage across the surface. By applying a voltage between two electrodes, an electric field is created within the surface. This electric field can then be disturbed by shunting any point on the conductive surface to ground. In our case, we used a grounded stylus as the shunt. By alternating the source and sense electrodes, an inverse problem can be solved to determine the position of the stylus. This is an example of the electric field before and after being touched by the stylus. In order to determine the position of the touch, a mathematical relationship needed to be obtained which relates the measured voltages at the sense electrode and its distances to the touch location when being touched. An approximation of this relationship can be visualised in this diagram and equation. However, the constants of this equation are unknown and vary depending on the surface. Therefore, a series of ground truth calibration points are used to obtain these unknown constants using optimization techniques. Once these constants have been obtained, we now have a solvable equation relating voltage readings to the distance between a touch location and each electrode. Trilateration is then employed to determine the exact location of the touch point. Image processing is used to obtain a large number of ground truth touch position data of the stylus against the measured voltage readings. It's important to note that this is only needed in the initial calibration step and the camera can be removed when calibration is complete. A user interface was created in order to demonstrate the use cases of this technology. Of those use cases, we implemented the ability to interface with a computer in the form of a drawing tool and as a mouse input device.